Hey guys, Nereon here. The Stellar Blade controversy is getting absolutely insane to the point where it's reaching levels of ridiculous absurdity. It's nothing new that there are a lot of journalists that suck at their jobs. I mean, just look at all of Kotaku pretty much. But now we have IGN, which is one of the biggest, if not even the biggest journalist organizations when it comes to entertainment, showcasing not just their level of delusion, but also how unqualified they are to review games, and how unhinged and straight up hateful they can get when it comes to Asian people and Asian media, which they showcase in their Stellar Blade review. We are going to take a look at their bullshit review and how they attack the game's developer and the model that plays the main character in extremely disrespectful ways, really just showcasing how racist, sexist and hateful they can get. And on top of that, I'm going to showcase why the IGN reviewer sucks at his job and is wrong in every way possible, how the community reacted to his review and in the end talk about the reason why woke western journalists, developers and on online weirdos are so hateful and biased against Asian made media in general. Let's first take a look at this one specific part of IGN's review of Stellar Blade that's currently going viral, and rightfully so, cause this is some triggered journalist shit. They write, It's not new, and other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters. But where a Bayonetta stands out with an iconic character design, or a 2B from Nier Automata inspires an entire generation of cosplayers, Eve from Stellar Blade is just bland. A doll sexualized by someone who has never seen a woman. What a bunch of stupid statements, and disrespectful on top of that. I'm going to explain why exactly in just a second, but first off I'm gonna mention how IGN once again clearly doesn't hide the fact that they are unhappy whenever there's fan service or a female character gets depicted in an attractive way. So I just had to share this tweet with you that says, if IGN designed Stellar Blade. And now that truly looks like a game that got updated for modern audiences. This would most likely get accepted by IGN as an accurate female design without any criticism. Just add colorful hair and piercings and she's perfect. Now this whole thing is going viral currently cause IGN as usual wanted to virtue signal with their review, showcase how woke and tolerant and inclusive they are. Calling out quote unquote problematic and sexist character design like that of Eve from Stellar Blade in this case. And yet it's backfiring in their face in a huge way because of a multitude of reasons that showcase what kind of terrible journalists they are and how their woke agenda is actually extremely discriminatory. This tweet by Grum seems to be going viral currently. It's at over 50,000 likes and almost 2 million views after a day. And that because it embarrasses IGN and two of the arguments they made. It says, so IGN calls the Stellar Blade protagonist a sexualized doll and says the creator has never seen a living woman. And after that, showcasing the not real doll as IGN called her, and then the creator's wife, who's also simultaneously an artist on the team. So apparently IGN was too lazy to do even the most basic research on the game before publishing such disrespectful statements. Either they were too lazy to look those things up, which means they suck at their job of gaming journalism, or they knew exactly what they were talking about and wrote those insulting statements anyway, which would make it even worse, showcasing that they're getting lazier and hiding their hatred towards Asian people and Asian media. Ever since Shift Up openly showcased the game, Western journalists and woke softies online bombarded Stellar Blade and its developer with hateful messages and articles, actively trying to start harassment and hate campaigns against him and the game. Because according to them, the hot depiction of Eve in the game was sexist apparently, and the developer was a misogynist because he just couldn't understand where the problem was in depicting women as attractive, especially in an R-rated game aimed at adults. They honestly attacked how Eve looked in the game cause they called her an unrealistic portrayal of how real women looked, until Shift Up revealed that her game model was actually a body scan of a real person, completely embarrassing the haters. They revealed that they cast a Korean model for the character of Eve, and Shift Up even released this behind the scenes clip of her body being scanned for the game. This was kind of like an answer to all the triggered woke softies online that kept complaining and to the western journalist that kept bringing up the argument of Eve's design in various interviews with its developer Hyung Tae Kim, probably annoying him quite a bit with how they kept focusing on that. In those interviews he stated that his goal wasn't to make this science fiction fantasy game as realistic as possible. He said that it's a fictional game set in a fictional universe and that games are a form of escapism, a way to escape reality, and that when he himself plays 
a video game that he doesn't want the character in the game to look like him, but he wants the character to look better than he does, like an ideal version of a person. And that's why they hired a beautiful Korean model to scan for the main character. Of course he made the mistake in assuming that he's talking to professional gaming journalists, and that as experts in the field they would understand what he was talking about. And yet they clearly didn't, as the attacks continued. And this new IGN review even went as far as to insult the model as a bland sexualized doll and said that the creator doesn't know what a real woman looks like because she doesn't look like one. That's just extremely insulting considering it's a one-to-one -one body scan of an actual woman. Maybe the author in his woke bubble isn't used to see girls that take care of themselves and thus look young and beautiful and on top of that have beautiful faces and curvy bodies. They're sad that she's not ugly, overweight, with short colored hair and piercings, cause then that would have looked like a real woman to them. An extremely disrespectful and straight up sexist statement by IGN, cause they're literally acting like pretty or curvy women don't exist and as if such women are just unrealistic. I know they love to call others sexists, like they did with the Stellar Blade developer. But ignorantly acting like a big chunk of women is non-existent seems like quite a sexist attitude to me. They not only attack the model and attractive women in general, but of course also the game's creator, because he is at fault for this sexist, unrealistic and all around problematic depiction of a woman in his game. Stating that the character is a bland doll sexualized by someone who has never seen an actual woman. They even state it like a fact, making the attack against the creator even more disrespectful. Well what do we have here? It's a picture of the Shift Up CEO and thus Stellar Blade creator Hyung Tae Kim and his Korean wife, who's also quite pretty and happens to also be an expert in the industry, cause she's working as a game artist. I mean how awesome is that? Not only is his wife attractive, but she also works in the same industry. And they married in 2011, so their relationship has lasted well over a decade already. IGN should do their job and get their facts right before they publish such insulting articles. And besides that, it's also highly unethical for a journalist to disparage somebody on a public article. Because that's not their private little blog, they're writing for a news outlet. But then again, cretins like this one are constantly enabled by their superior, because whoever the editor is, they had to have read it and approved it for publication, which means that they're complicit and agree with the contents of the article. It's none of their concern whether Shift Up CEO is in a relationship or not. It doesn't give them the right to drag him, his wife or the game model through the mud like that. You would expect better behavior from people in such high positions in the industry. Just because Asians tend to stay humble and respectful and thus probably won't insult you back, that doesn't mean that they can't be hurt by such articles. This is beyond disrespectful, especially considering how hard they had work on the game and how great it already looks and how the team has always stayed professional and friendly so far. They deserve better coverage than that, especially considering all of them are probably much nicer people than those journalists. I mean Shift Up CEO Hyung Tae Kim was even nice enough to give the PlayStation 5 to all of his 260 employees so that they would be able to play Stellar Blade for free after its release. Let's say a PS5 costs $500 and he bought 260 of them. That means he spent $130,000 on this gift. He seems like a super nice guy. That was an extremely generous move by him. And the way he talks about the game always makes it sound like satisfying the fans was his top priority. They cast the model for the main character and even said that they put special attention into how her backside looked because that's what players would be seeing most of the time while playing. He understands what fiction is, he knows what escapism means and he's not afraid to deliver fan service, even if he ends up angering a woke mob and western journalists in doing so. I think he's aware that the fans stand behind him and that we are the opinions that actually matter. And the backlash the IGN review got should showcase that most people understand how wrong and stupid it is. But apparently there's some bullshit going on with like IGN. They wrote an article. Let's read it. Let's read what he's got to say. It's not new. The other games have chosen to highlight the strengths of their female characters, but where Bayonetta stands out with an iconic character design or even 2B with Nier Automa inspires an entire generation of cosplayers. Eve from Stellar Blade is just bland, a doll sexualized by someone who's never seen a woman. Man. And then apparently this is the wife of the concept artist. Yeah, I, I mean, look, here's the thing. Like, obviously, this guy's a fucking idiot. I don't really take these comments very seriously because the people that write them are, like, functionally brain dead.
As someone who's never seen a woman, how the fuck is this guy a journalist? Lamau, not even an insult. That's just being petty. Because he's a little bitch. He's just a stupid ass bitch. Like, that's why. The thing is that, and I know this is probably mean to say, but like, whenever I see somebody that makes comments like this, all I have to do is look at them and you know why. Remember that those two girls that, w that one dude interviewed and both of these girls combined were like a thousand pounds? It's like, big surprise, you're gonna act like this girl has an unrealistic body proportion. Absolutely. Of course you're gonna think that. Yes, I love to show Esmond Gold clips, but it just so happens that we both agree on most video game topics and that we are fighting on the same side, which is the side of common sense. Something that many journalists sadly lack nowadays. Like this reviewer saying that a character whose model is a body scan of a real woman isn't realistic. That's just weird those body shaming women who have bodies they disapprove of. It's almost like they have a vendetta against attractive people and use politics to justify it. Looking at their review, it's also very interesting how they're suddenly praising Bayonetta and 2B from Near Automata. That's laughable. So are we just going to pretend like journalists and SJWs were not complaining about their oversexualized designs for years? IGN revises history, pretends SJWs never trashed Bayonetta and Nier Automata for being oversexualized, just so they can go after Stellar Blades Eve with the racist trope of calling Asian women oversexualized dolls. I haven't played Nier Automata yet, but I played through the first two Bayonetta games twice and she's one of my most played Smash Bros characters. And as a Bayonetta fan, I remember exactly how every game journalist hated Bayonetta for years. IGN even used to make fun of the person who designed Bayonetta until they found out that her character designer was actually a woman. It's the same type of embarrassing situation all over again. And yet I remember exactly how they complained about everything, from Bayonetta's design, to her attitude, to her extremely horny fan base etc. The only time they didn't is when they were calling her an LGBTQ icon due to her cutting her hair short. Cause the second a woman has short hair she must be a lesbian according to them. And due to her bond with her female friend Jean. Cause they were convinced in their headcanon that Bayonetta is actually a lesbian. Even though she never was and it was never even implied. And yet when Nintendo and Platinum Games released this picture, the woke weirdos lost their shit over this. Real ones remember what the controversy this picture caused. IGN's criticism doesn't even make sense. How can Bayonetta and 2B be okay for being heavily sexualized, but Eve isn't? And who's to say that Eve won't be iconic like the former two after the title releases? Her game isn't even out yet. It's a straw man argument to make the reader believe that IGN's problem is with this character only, cause they have completely hidden the reality of those other characters being controversial in their first appearance. You can predict their actions quite quickly when you understand pattern behavior. It's a common tactic used in politics too. The current opposing candidate says, this is the worst threat to democracy we've ever seen. The next opponent candidate says, look, the first candidate was bad, but this new candidate, this is the worst threat to democracy we've ever seen. And it goes on and on like this. It seems 2B is at the next phase. 2B did a lot of good actually, but Stellar Blade is literally hurting people. You know, I hope Stellar Blade becomes a huge success. The team would deserve it and the industry desperately needs more such games. Journalists like that showcase the reason as to why time and time again. As Grumps says in this tweet, if you look at AAA gaming nowadays, you will notice that beautiful women are the most marginalized and underrepresented segment of the market. They're opposed to beautiful female characters. And if you've noticed the recent controversy, Microsoft even publicly published a list of crazy guidelines that their studios and other developers are being pushed to follow. Like to avoid designing pretty and curvy female characters and to enforce DEI quotas in the studios and even in the games itself. So I'm sorry for you if you hoped for a Stellar Blade Xbox release. It won't release on Xbox and the game like it would never be possible and will never happen under them because of their guidelines. A set of rules that's sadly being implemented in all of Western AAA gaming as it seems. The Asian industry seems like the last bastion of sanity and yet woke western journalists are trying to change that with their hateful attacks. IGN was even too lazy to do a half-assed 5 second google search for their Stellar Blade review. And they're calling themselves professionals. You know, you can't spell the word ignorant without IGN. And with that said, I hope Stellar Blade succeeds. But based on how anticipated it is already, it most likely will. 
Support it if you can, or support games like it. The best we can do is to vote with our wallets and to speak up online. Support based games and based developers like those of Stellar Blade. And considering you have watched till the end, you are probably as based as they are. So I thank you for that. I'm grateful for this community that's growing quicker than ever. And I'm happy I'm able to make a difference and have a positive impact. So like the video if you enjoyed it, leave a comment, share it with others and subscribe to the channel. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll hopefully see you again in the next one. Until then, take care.